Yes, gorgeous. Tell me how your Love Island outside journey's been so far. Oh, so busy. I'm so tired. I flew, flew back from Paris this morning um, and then straight here. So I've not been non stop. But it's fun. I mean, to be honest, can play. is it what you thought it would be? No, you get thrown into this completely different world. You don't expect any of it. And you can never prepare for it. You just have to go with it and hope that you handle it in the right way. So, if advice of Islanders that are probably going to audition soon, yeah. would you advise it? I definitely advise it. I'm having a whale of a time, but they just need to be prepared for little sleep and, bit, and lots of travelling. That's probably the worst part. Travelling? <laughs> the worst part? The worst part in the sense of I've been on six planes in the last two weeks. That's busy. That's a lot of what flying. What are you doing um, No, I'm not actually doing a lot of PAs unless they're meet and greets for um, to see the younger fans. So for Park, um, I went to the Bronze Iconic event in Dublin last week. The club scene really isn't my scene to do meet and greets, but um, especially for shopping centres, etc. That's where more I fall into. So tell me about um, the Islanders that have come out. So I spoke to Wes and um, Megan last night, and yeah. they said they can't believe that George and Georgia and Sam are still together. All right. Is there anyone that you're shocked about? Uh, no, I mean. I obviously was best friends with Georgia and I didn't know she had an attraction to Sam when she was in there but when I've seen them on the outside they would really really cute together so I see that last in and Megan's on her way actually she messaged me earlier so is she yeah we were meant to come together but typically Megan she's late so oh. <laughs> is there a WhatsApp, there's a WhatsApp group isn't there yeah. you're, in, you're in it yeah yeah everyone. is it pinging the whole time oh yeah it's, it's crazy you wake up and there's about 70 WhatsApp messages from the group so what would you say is the worst things that come out of being on Love Island the worst thing probably just not seeing your family and friends as much as you'd like you're so busy sometimes you don't even have time to look at your phone so to see them is also hard but I get to go home tomorrow and I'm going to spend it with them all yeah so. watch out Wales <laughs> I know and how is the journey to find love um, it's going quite well actually um, but nothing to announce quite yet but I'll keep you all posted really because last time I saw you a uh, certain person was certain footballer was cross with you oh, about yeah. being photographed so I take it that's not on the cards so it's someone new is it yeah no I, I'd rather be with someone who just sees me as Rosie and isn't bothered about this additional life. I mean, I'm still Rosie from the Valleys. I haven't changed that much. <laughs> Talk about the Valleys. Would you go on a, a show like the Valleys? Would you go on MTV shows? No, I think my dad was cross enough about Love Island. I won't put him through with that again. <laughs> dad was cross. My dad's always cross. <laughs> Why was he cross about Love Island though? Um, just when I came out, he was a bit unsure and yeah, he didn't. He gave me a hug when I came out, but it wasn't the warmest hug I've ever had off him. So. You're joking. He didn't do anything wrong. I know. No, but he's daddy, so he didn't actually watch it. I think he read Twitter, which is worse because Twitter's such a negative space. My dad doesn't even know what Twitter is, Rosie. <laughs> My dad's in London tonight, actually. He is he? Say hello to come meet him. Oh, that's so, so lovely. And <laughs> um, you know, last night I spoke to Megan and Wales. They said they haven't watched any of it back. They can't. Right. They can't take themselves to do it. Right. Have you got there yet? I actually watched it because every interview I was doing and people were talking about my journey with Adam, I didn't actually know what they'd seen on television. So I thought I needed to see it and understand what people were referring to because a lot went on that villa that you lot don't see and I just thought it was important to understand what people had actually seen. Is there a moment that you were really annoyed wasn't shown? Yeah, there was one bit that I was quite annoyed there wasn't shown, which I thought summed up Adam to a T. But never mind. <laughs> you got rid of that one. Got Thank rid of that one. Goodness. <laughs> so when will we find out about the new chat? Well, I think it's serious enough to share it with the world. So. Okay. <laughs> How do you know when it's serious enough? I just know. I just get a feeling. I mean, I'm quite fussy anyway, so it could be over tomorrow. Who knows? No. <laughs> just don't do any drunk texting tonight. Though, I know. Right? No, I'll try not to. And what's next for Rosie this year? What happens next? I've got a lot of plans. Um, I'm hoping to have a launch party for something in the next couple of months, but we're just making sure it's perfect before we do that launch party. So yeah, I can't wait to tell you all about it.